Good evening, everybody. So recently, I have lots of people coming to me talking about the relationship. So I think it's very important. It's one of the you know because we live in the community, and we need to interact. So we cannot cut ourselves away, you know, of everything. So that is how we interact and how we related to things. A relationship is part of the very important. Things in our life, you know, how we relate to our life. So relationships is not only restricted to partners or families, and like friends, not only with people. So how we relate to our life, even relate to our emotion, and even relate to ourselves. That is all relationship. So all kinds of relationships. So today I would like to. Uh, talk about how to apply applying dharma to enhance relationship. So, because all of you know that um, the, uh, in Buddhism, the, the Buddhists emphasize a lot these cultivations of the mind to develop these mental qualities, the wholesome qualities. So, with these wholesome qualities, with the practice to help us to enhance our relationships. So some of these qualities is important and is actually is essential to help us to cement and to enhance our relationship. For example, like trust. So it's very important that trust to give someone the trust. Actually, talk about trust and actually remind me of uh, some years ago when I went back to Malaysia to to visit my family. And I remember my son said to me, he said to me that he just expressed his gratitude and appreciation. He said that, Mom, um, he said he's, he's, uh, he's really thank, he said, he said, I thank you so much that the fact that, you know, because his wife said that he's have lots of self-confidence. He's someone is a lot of self-confidence. Then it's the conversation, it starts from that. Then he started to express his, his gratitude. He said, Actually, my confidence actually has come from you, he said, because the trust that he said that you have given me since when I was little, still he grown up. So I used to say that because the trust that I gave him, to, uh, he said that give him a lot of self-confidence and also encouragement. Because just imagine if you distrust someone, you become suspicious. And you always check on like some we have we, we have someone come to me that you know that the, the husband left her because of she's suspicions of the husband. She's always checked on the husband until until a point that the husband left her. Couldn't stand. You know, try to check on the husband why you come back late, you know, each time because distrust. And you make the person feel like a lack of self confidence. Because I allow him to do and and allows other people to make mistakes. That is very important. Because to me, I always encourage him to speak the truth. Even he make a mistake, I say, okay, good. I said, you learn from it. Because life is not an end result. Life is a process. So sometimes, you know, it's not really right or wrong, like sometimes things doesn't work out, you know. So we, we, we put the label on that, you know, when we have, we, 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 we put the label on good or bad. And, and I encourage him to speak the truth, but sometimes like, he thinks that's, a, you know, and he, when he makes mistakes, I say, okay, it's fine. It's all right to make mistakes, no big deal. So this is how he, I always encourage him. So not try to make your children to be perfect. So if you try to make them to be, a, to be a perfect person, then actually that is really create a lot of suffering for yourself. You, know, you, just, you can only do your best to give him the support, the love, the care. That is the most important thing. It's just like me, you know, like I, I've been given the job like as an abbot, called abbot, and also the teacher of, you know, or the, my nuns, seminaries, you know. So... If I were to identify myself as a teacher, and um, I create myself lots of suffering, like I try to make them perfect, you know, try to mold them, you have to behave in a certain way. No. So I'm here to just to help and support, to give them the opportunities. So to help them 
to live the monastic life, to give them guidance and leave it to them. So sometimes they have to learn. It's just like for my son, I, I, have, I just let him learn. Sometimes they, they need to experience themselves because sometimes if parents become too protective, you know, not to allow them to, 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 to experience themselves, to realize themselves, that is much better. Then he knows, you know, what works, what doesn't work because we have become too, too protective. Then next time when he grows up, he will not never learn. You know, we try, we not allow them to learn, you know, to, to, uh, uh, for example, I remember when he was 18, 